Couple more. Be on that stick. Silva should have jumped in and finished it. He may do it right here. Lieben is rocked. He was stunned. He, he was like back bad. up. I thought it was over. Oh, he is in big trouble. Chris Lieben goes That's down it. again. Wow. And it is all over. Wow. It is all over. The he debut of Anderson that Silva is lasts less than one minute. That's what I was talking about. This is a different kind of striker. Head kick. Right hand, left hand. Chris Lieben looked so out of it. I'm amazed that Big John McCarthy didn't stop it earlier. Here's the end. Big John just jumps in. He gave Chris every chance he possibly could to recover. Bam. Bam. And that is the end. Pretty good right hand counter there from Whitaker. The quickness of Edesanya to evade these high kicks, hands down. Just leaning back out of the range of those kicks. He's got to be very careful. Oh! Whitaker nearly out on his feet. Adesanya trying to close it out. Israel Adesanya is the undisputed king of the middleweights. Man, every time Rob jumped in there, he was taking damage. And look what happened. Went in there again, caught that right hook counter again by Adesanya. He landed it over and over again. Less than two years into his UFC career, Israel Adesanya is what he knew and thought he was, the best middleweight on planet Earth. And as he's doing that, Rich is throwing combinations and catching him. Again, oh, rock. Left. He got hit right on the eyeball. He has hurt that. He stunned him this down. This might be it. Big John almost stopped it. Nate Quarry got rocked there. He's back to his feet. Again, oh, on the bike. Out. And down goes out Quarry. Cold. Wow. A first round knockout. Big is how Rich one punch knockout. His belt. Wow. Bang oh. on oh. the butt. And you see Nate just stiff immediately. He is out. You see his legs up. His muscles are contracted. He is unconscious. Let's take a look at it again. On the button, and Nate just shuts off. And as we've seen out of Vitor Belfort, oftentimes all it can take is one slight crack, one slight opening for his opponent to be twitching on the canvas. Looking at the target, this is the second time that he used it in this fight. And man, you don't see things like that coming. What a spectacular knockout against a high-level opponent in Luke Rockhold. Talking to Chris Weidman at the end of round two, then in one one. A very nice kick to the body. And then they both throw kicks at the same time. Flying knee, he knocked him out. Wow. That's it. And this is what we were talking about. Wow. Romero, the sensational, explosive ability that he possesses. I mean, this fight could have been stopped right there for sure and wasn't, unfortunately, because it's over. Rockhold has this air of invincibility mentally right now as well. Never more confident. Michael stayed in the face, right over the top with another left. And we have a new middleweight champion. His name, Michael Bisping. Un
unbelievable. 17 days notice, and he will leave with the UFC belt around his waist. Remember, the last time we saw Anderson taunt an opponent like this was Damian Maya. He put on a show for the first few rounds and then completely coasted for the last two. Head kick. Speed difference. Yeah. He tried a crescent kick on him. Anderson. Oh! Here it is again, left hook, and he pretends to be hurt, but this one hurts. Boom, on the chin, Anderson's hurt, that one finishes him off, he's out cold. Look at that, there's something you didn't think you'd see. Chris Weidman just knocked Anderson Silva out cold. On the mat is going to be very valuable indeed, of course, Brian Barbarena is with him tonight. Lots of experience. They are so even on total strikes at the moment. Oh! Mike towards his left, which is Dan Henderson's power side. As he goes towards his left, he runs into the big right hand of Dan Henderson, and that's what his coach didn't want. Second to none. Oh! He front kicked him in the face. Absolutely right. That's trying it. to finish. It is all oh, Kicked in the face. Anderson Silva remains the Are only king in. It's almost like Vitor expected it to go to the body. I mean, he saw it coming. He didn't even move. Oh. Right to the chin. And that's just one of the things about Anderson. He's so unpredictable. He does such wild, unorthodox stuff. But Anderson landed it perfectly. The ball of the foot to the chin. 